While children, for the most part, are not suffering the harshest symptoms of COVID-19, child advocates say many are at risk of abuse, neglect, and long-term trauma. So on your side, Stephanie Harris is here with more on the fallout and, and definitely the fear stuff. You know, Anita, unfortunately, home is not always a safe place for children. And some child advocates fear that the coronavirus could cause a child abuse epidemic. Hampton Roads already has a bad track record with child abuse and deaths. With families forced to stay home together, coupled with financial stress and the stress of teaching and caring for kids with no relief, well, it may just push some parents over the edge. The pinwheel, with its whimsy and childlike notions, has become the symbol for child abuse prevention. Each April, advocates plant gardens of them. But I was determined to do mine. Susan Fink refused to let COVID-19 push off this tradition because the message is more important now than ever. My fear is that children are going to die. 40 children died of abuse in Virginia in 2018. 14 of them were in the Hampton Roads area. Now, with mounting pressure on families, Fink fears that number will jump. She's afraid children could be dying right now, and we won't know about it for weeks or months. We probably won't. In Virginia, teachers report 25% of suspected abuse to Child Protective Services. A lot of the responsibility for children is pushed off onto schools. So when school is not there, um, that leaves a huge, huge void. Many risk factors for child abuse are the same as for domestic violence, mental illness, family crisis, substance abuse. But there are fewer organizations advocating for kids. We have to make a particular effort to reach out to people we know that might be experiencing that stress and be tempted to take it out on children and just offer a listening ear. If you feel a child is in danger, report it. Child Protective Services is still working. And if you feel your child is at risk from you or your partner, call a mental health professional or reach out to family, friends, or your faith community. Ask for help. Please ask for help. And just a short time ago, I received some information from the Virginia Department of Social Services that appears to confirm one of Fink's fears. The agency received 1,600 fewer referral calls last month than usual, as there are fewer eyes on children to report signs of possible abuse. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.